So let's see how uh, we can navigate from one screen to another screen of Power Apps. So let's say we have an app where we just have one screen right now. It's called First Screen. Let's add one more one more screen in the app, and uh, I'll choose List Screen just to show you how List Screen looks like. Uh, and let's say this was an intro screen. Um, now I'm going to add a button uh, on this first screen. This first screen will say this button will say go to uh, second screen. Uh, drag the button so that it can take the entire text and uh, and second screen let's rename the screen to call it second screen okay now uh, the way to uh, do the navigation from first to second is click on this button and on on select event of this button and we talked about event and how to handle the event earlier on on select event of this button i'll start typing navigate and you can see as i'm typing i see navigate as one of the option in the in the drop down i'm just going to select it hit tab and this intellisense is giving me the option of which screen to navigate to and it just knew that I have to navigate to some screens, so it just gave me the name of both the screens which are there in the app. I chose the second screen. The second option is how do we want this navigation to be? So how do we want the transition to be? No transition at all, it fades or cover, and you can play with different options. But in this case, let's say we choose none. Um, you can also have a third parameter, which uh, which is an optional parameter. I'm going to skip it uh, right now, but in future we will use it. This option will give you a way for passing data from one screen to another screen. But let's say we stop here and let's run this app and see what happens. When I click on this now, as you can see, I go to the second screen. Uh, but I, there's no way for me to go back to the first screen. Uh, let me do that quickly. I'll go to the second screen. Uh, I'm not doing the best UI design, but let's say here I add uh, another control, a back arrow, and put that here. Like I said, it's a horrible design, but let me just drag it here just to show the concept of navigation. Now, on on select of this button, all I'm going to do is say back and that's it I can choose the transition uh, let's say this time I'll choose cover uh, so I have two options back means whatever was there earlier it will just go back to the same screen which happens to be first screen in this case or I could have chosen navigation uh, the navigate uh, method that I used for the first screen uh, that will do the same thing, uh, but with Navigate, I have more control. I know which screen I want this navigation to be. Uh, with Back, it will just go to the stack and see which was the last screen, and it will just show that screen. So let's now run this app and see what happens. Go back to the first screen, click on go to second screen. Now I'm on the second screen. I hit on go back and now I'm here. And you also saw the subtle difference in the navigation. See it again. Here, there's no transition, but when I click on back, just because we chose a different kind of a transition option, we see some kind of a, a sliding kind of a, a, a navigation happening between these two screens. It's called cover in this case. So hope, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to how to do the navigation, implement the navigation between multiple screens.